entrepreneurs do three things. They birth the new in a simple way. That is to say, every type of innovation we have has largely come from people thinking innovatively, and most of them come from firms that were created to bring forth this new technology that the inventor entrepreneur thought up. The second thing they do is even much more important, and that is when new firms are started, they create jobs. This is actually quite apparent, but economists and policymakers and politicians don't get this. You know, if you're running General Electric or General Motors, your stockholders want higher productivity. They want more product coming out for less expense. It's a simple equation. It's the amount of product divided by the number of people who work in the company. And if you're the president of one of those companies, your job is to drive that number on the denominator down. You want fewer people. Well, if you start a brand new company and you're going to make something, you're going to deliver a service or a product, you got to have people. So you don't want to have more employees than necessary. But well, without employees, you've got nothing. So new firms hire. And in fact, the statistics from the Coffin Foundation tell us that new firms are the place where all new hiring takes place, the net job creation. And it's not a small number. On average, new firms in the United States create about 3 million jobs a year. In fact, at the margin, that is where all the jobs are that are created in the economy that are, that are new, it's the new firms that do it. Put differently, the United States, unlike a lot of countries, has a growing population, has a growing labor force. We need 3 million brand new jobs every year. That's if everybody else kept their job. With the entry of young people, with the coming of immigrants, with people returning to the labor market, we need 3 million new jobs every year. And those jobs are the vast preponderance. Almost all of them come in firms that are less than five years old. Now, the third thing that entrepreneurs do with their new companies is they create all the new net wealth in the society. So if we didn't have new companies, the society would gradually grow in relative terms poorer. Now, we think about entrepreneurs as actually sometimes becoming very rich. We have in mind Steve Jobs or Bill Gates or Sergey Brin. These guys get very, very wealthy. But in fact, the real wealth goes into the society. It's estimated that the people who start these firms take a fraction, in some cases less than a percent, of all the new net wealth that their companies generate for the society. Think about what Bill Gates did with Microsoft. Now, he made a fortune for himself, tens of billions of dollars. But he's made every one of us richer in economic terms. We are all much better off. So these are all the things that entrepreneurs do. They keep pushing the innovative, they push the new, they make jobs for people, and they make wealth for the society. America and the world will, as long as human beings walk this planet, need innovators, need inventors, need entrepreneurs.